Okay, doke. Well, I'm gonna get a good whack at this thing. I think we're gonna. I don't know if we're gonna quite get there. Uh, let me. I gotta bring up one other photograph that I did of this thing so I get it even more accurate. I, I I'm working from three different photographs right now. <coughs> Let's do this. Okay. There we are. Cool. Yeah, I wanted to see how this was. I couldn't quite tell from my photograph. So this is Steel Bridge. Started in 1910. Uh, completed and they opened it in uh, 1912. So that's, that tells you how old this thing is. Wow, that's going to be quite a ways old. So we're going to hit here. So this 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 path angles in and then goes across like that. So got the trains will come across here. Oh man, got the barber of Seville going through my head. I have no idea why. <coughs> hey, Anthony, thank you for joining. A little bit off, but we're not going to worry about that too much. Okay, I'm going to move this over here. A little more blue than that. Start getting this whammed in here. Which is flooding, by the way, right now. Uh, drop to flood. And that's about what it is here. <coughs> and I also notice a change I need to make. It's where it lifts up here. That's all these are straight down. They're not they're not all these angles. So we gotta get that in there. We'll just fix that up right away. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. How are you doing, Anthony? All right, no worries. Angie said she can watch, but she can't comment for some reason. And I'm not sure why, because I have it set up so... Uh, uh, you, you know, anybody could comment. I don't, I, I'm not sure what's going on there. So, ah, we'll get this all fixed. Changes always cause mayhem, you know. <laughs> That's just part of it, so. We've got our train coming through here, big freight train. And this needs to be further in. Yeah, dum dum This actually needs to be a little further over. Okay. I got my early morning uh, thing out of the way today, so... Uh, I'm a little bit punchy. I was I've been up since 3:57 this morning. <laughs> oh, I can do it. I'm ex army. I can do it. Can I start it? I tell you. <laughs> oh. 
There's a building up on top here. It's like a little house up there. It's where the controllers sit. I can only, only imagine in time that will be just completely automated, which is kind of sad in its own way. I was uh, looking at, uh, there was Amazon was, uh, they have uh, stores that they don't even have checkers. You go in there and you pick out your own stuff and it just registers off your phone and pulls off, it pulls it off the, um, you know, you're, it put, uh, charges your account and uh, I hope we don't have a place where we don't have even have checkers. I don't know about you, but I kind of like talking to the checkers. <laughs> Oh, uh, before you know it, nobody will have a job. <laughs> uh. Actually, this needs to be down here a little more. There we go. Okay, coming in here. Oh, that's the person I forgot to. Ah, oh, makes me mad when I forget to. And it pops in the brain. Bear with me. Oh, everybody's going to laugh when they watch this. It's like, God, what the heck is this? <laughs> oh. <coughs> Just a second. Open, open. There you go. There we go. There we are. <laughs> I think we can make good progress. It's very close to being, we could probably, might almost be done, but I don't, I don't know about that. Not, we'll get done on, uh, it's going to have, probably have to wait till Monday because, uh, uh, there's some more abutments down here. Another one there. Yeah, I, I, I wish I could just watch what Angie was doing because I'm not sure why she is having trouble getting on. Uh, she said she could watch it, but she can't uh, uh, comment. I don't know why. I don't think it's unique to Australia. <laughs> you never know, though. <laughs> they are upside down, you know. Yeah. It's like a box thing here. I don't know what it is, but putting it in there. But the tracks run across here. That's the thing of the bridge. Hey, Diane! Greetings and salutations and all that rot. If I let you out of prison again, I'm glad you're on, uh, you know, out there. We're furlough, you know, happy to happy that's happening. <laughs> she was caught uh, caught sniffing gorilla glue in the park. Ah oh, man, I tell you, try to warn you. Let's get this 
water in here. It's the Willamette River here. Oops, that's not me doing the passing gas, that's just my floor squeaking. Just letting you know. <laughs> In that water in there. Whoa! Couldn't help myself. And a little more sap green and unpronounceable blue. Back in here is Prussian blue. Whoa, dee -dee -dee -dum. Da -dee -dee -dum. Okay. A little bit of 
this a little bit of that. Oh, yeah, she had to go talk to her parole officer, I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't lie. <laughs> you know what the truth is? Scrub, 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 scrub. Oh, it's called a steel bridge. I've done several paintings of the steel bridge, but not at this angle. And I took this picture. I was standing right here uh, as I kicked the camera here, right here when I took the picture. There's a there's this walkway, this path, <coughs> excuse me, for pedestrians and for uh, bicyclists here. And here you have the main freight trains and Amtrak goes along here. Over the top uh, is our... Um, uh, light rail and automobiles so the, the the bridge actually is actually amazing our rivers are running really high here and we went o i went over the um this bridge i went over it this morning and this afternoon and oh man that the, that the Willamette is running high at flood stage right now. There's some parks that have been flooded. No damage yet, but uh, the Columbia is flooding, so that's always a big concern. That's a big river to flood. So anytime the Columbia floods, everybody kind of panics. It's a big river. I think the Columbia, they said, is the 50th biggest river in the world. It's a, it's a big river. Bum, ba, da, dum, bum, bum. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's Andy! Whoa! Oh my God, get yourself a lotto ticket. I'll tell you that one right now. <laughs> oh my God, that's everybody. Everybody's managed to get over. Yay! Oh, I'm so proud of you right now. I'll get on my supersonic... Uh, a uh, hypersonic um, private jet and come down there and kiss you. <laughs> All right. Andy's on. Yay. <laughs> I am excited. I really am. I'm so happy. Yay. Yay! 
Oh, that's great. I know. I'm serious. I'm really thrilled. Oh, I was wondering, why is Angie having problems? And here you are. Yay. <laughs> oh. Actually, to be honest with you, Angie, that's a relief. Yay. This is a steel bridge. I've done several paintings of it, but I just kind of, I've been doing, as you know, the um, White House paintings, but I, we need to take a break every once in a while in the middle of that. Otherwise it gets monotonous. Uh oh. <laughs> or you can always create a new account if you want to. Uh, ready, bum, bum. That's everyone. Everybody from the old group. Here. But this there's this freight train was going across when I took the picture. That's a very busy bridge. You know, a lot of freight trains go zipping across it, and Amtrak also goes across it. So I kind of put that in there. Yeah, I'm just excited that you made it on. Yay! <laughs> uh, persistence. <laughs> I, I call us the martini pack. <laughs> Maybe the brat pack. <laughs> uh. Gotta remember what's on one side, it, it, the bridge straddles the tracks. So, there we go. Put it up, bum, bum. I uh, thank you. It's just an interesting angle, and I've got to add. Uh, I've, I, there's a bicyclist here. I'm going to have him zipping across here, and I got uh, Bob over here. Bob's looking at the train going by. 
And Bob really doesn't have anything else to do. Just stands there, sometimes drools at the mouth, you know, but uh, that's just, that's another story altogether. Just letting you know, yeah. <laughs> but you gotta have good old Bob, yeah. Bob knows Pothead Pete, you know, so there you go. That gives you a clue. Just keep filling in everything here. There's a lamb it down here, the Willamette River. Get these rails here. <laughs> yeah, well, Pete, you know, uh, he put profit into marijuana in this city. <laughs> okay, we're going to come back up here. You and me, I, I'm all over the place. And gets further and further down, 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 down it goes. Just such a cool bridge. Like I said, a steampunk on on acid. <laughs> it's just like a really cool bridge. Oh, God, the birds are just having a heyday in that thing. Oh, that's like the popular place in town. Yeah, I used to never see the uh, cedar waxwings, and apparently they're native to Oregon, but uh, I had never seen them before, and and I think that's in here during the day sometimes, and all of a sudden, here they are. My God, and now, today, none. Isn't that weird? You know, I think they fly through and wherever they're going, they're going and they're gone, you know. But boy, they got to have a good bath. <laughs> Interesting.
they're actually a very pretty bird. I love, I think my best, my favorites are the bush tits. And I just like them for their name. <laughs> but no, actually, they're, they're these funny little birds that are just, they're hilarious. And they have nests in our um, trees here. And I never recognized, I, I, I actually felt bad. I cut a nest down because I thought it was like a tech caterpillar or something like that. And it wasn't. It, it was uh, actually, they, they, they make these long tubes for uh, a nest and they actually stack on top of one another. I've watched them and I was like, well, that is fascinating. And that's how they, when they, they take a bath in the fountain, they, they just stack on top of one another. They're just crazy little birds. Well, I'll tell you what, if they get mad at you, they'll let you know. I've been crabbed out a couple of times. <laughs> it's like, sorry. Whoa, man. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, wow. Okay. <laughs> it's like, okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Now they're funny. I have four hummingbirds. But this is that spot, and I've got my uh, uh, chickadees, and I've got my, um, oh heck, the Oregon Junker. Yeah, that's uh, another one. Ah, things just filled with birds. And it, it's almost like they have their etiquette, you know? And we had some, um, oh, a couple years ago, we had these birds come in out of nowhere. And oh man, they 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 violated the etiquette of that fountain, and boy, they pissed off the crows. <laughs> Excuse me for the language, but whew, man, crows could tear our business. We were like, whoa! <laughs> I didn't think a crow could move that fast. Crows here are like kind of they don't use the fountain that much themselves. Every once in a while, they do, but. Uh, it's kind of like they're like the watchers of the phone. <laughs> There's definitely a, a hierarchy in this, uh, uh, that, that phone. Fascinating to watch, to be honest with you. I get to see it right out front, uh, outside of my kitchen window. I keep it clean for them and water changed and kept up. I'm like Mary Poppins out there, you know. <laughs> so everybody calls me and says, you're like Mary Poppins. <laughs> <coughs> Getting the undercarriage of this, the steel bridge here. Built, uh, started in 1910, finished and uh, opened in 1912. You know, you really think about that. It's almost pre-automobile, but yet automobiles go across it. <coughs> Excuse me. Boy, that was a good one. Like, don't worry, I'm not dying. <laughs> hey, Mavis, how are you doing? All right, I forgot to remind you. Felt like crud. I said, wait a minute, I, didn't, I forgot to remind me this. <laughs> I need to pile you all into one uh, group. Call it, uh, the, like you said, the Brat Pack. <laughs> <coughs> all right, we're going to come in here. Yeah, we, who knows? We might just get done with this today. Gonna make a big effort. That's gonna be for sure. I don't like that brush. You can tell my brushes are hilarious because they start. You can tell the um, um, the scrubbing technique sometimes scrubs the brush down to its uh, <laughs> roots. <laughs> All right. A little bit of white. 
It's going to be about there. Sorry, doing my best. I see you didn't get hit by a meteorite. That's always good. You never know, though. That would be interesting. Yeah, today I got hit by a meteorite. Yeah, oh well. I think I'm going to get a smaller brush here. Uh, let's see if I can find one little okay. good. Yeah, that'll work. Cool. Brush that will work. That's really tiny, but it'll work. Have a little vino here. Why not? It's midweek. You hear my four squeak nonstop. Get it um bum bum. Get you the bike in there. Mm -hmm. I got to get a little bit of red here. Red than that. Boom. Boom. <laughs> okay, a little bit of blue, a little bit of white. A little bit of brown, a little bit of blue. We'll call him Merrick. How's that? That's our bicyclist, Merrick. Oh, I know. <laughs> this, this, this guy, I, I happened to be in the photograph, had a plaid shirt, and I don't think I've ever, ever, ever seen Merrick in a plaid shirt. <laughs> There was a guy standing here. And he's not taking a pee. So we're gonna, we're gonna do some work on that. Okay, coming back into my other brush here. No, it's not COVID.
I don't know how many times I've been tested. <laughs> <laughs> you know it, tight, tight, hot pink. Probably, I'm going to add some color to that, uh, those cars there. So you can realize that's a train going by. You can barely see it. And I actually, it's actually fairly prominent in the photograph. <clears throat> Trains tend to occupy a large section of a photograph. They're big. Hear the scrub, scrub, scrub. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I read that too. It's apparently mild, so it'll be fine. Bob here. Stand looking at the train. Yeah. I always like. I always liked that posting I saw. I just roared, and they showed us an alien spaceship roaring by Earth, and they said, and the and the commander said, "Lock the doors." <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> Lock the doors. They're crazy down there. <laughs> You know, the scrub, scrub, scrub in there. Okay, we're going to get that. And the Union Pacific tends to be these bright yellow engines, so we're going to put a couple of them in front of this thing. It's like a cold, I don't think it's a cold train. I think it, 
because we don't deal with coal that much here in uh, uh, Oregon. We our primary power source is actually um, uh, hydroelectric here. Big dams. We have huge dams. Actually, that is silver. So we're going to kind of change that up. Yeah, maybe we should let that dry. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mary! Look who's on! Angie! We don't care about Diane or Mavis or Anthony. No, <laughs> just kidding. No. And he finally made it on. Yay! A little more white than that. Stand back for a second here. I actually could see that when I rode out from work today. Yeah, the water was up and over the, um, the paths. Yep. <clears throat> Nothing like a good spring runoff. And lots of rain to mix with it. <laughs> oh, well. We'll survive. What's the absolute worst thing that happened? We get washed off into the, um, um, uh, the Willamette, carried out to, to the Columbia... You know, and then right before the rescue workers could get to us, we're eaten by sharks. That's the worst. That I mean, that that's probably that's right in there with the worst. So besides that, I think we're fine. Just letting you know, just in case you're wondering. Mm -hmm. Inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> oh boy. A steel bridge. Keep working out. We might just squeak it out tonight. I don't want to rush it, but I think uh, I'm going to get there. It's just such a cool bridge. Okay, we're going to come back in here. Rinse, 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 rinse. A little more blue. Same with that. There we go. Talking to myself, full conversation. Don't worry about it.
green. So green, because I'm so ween. Okay. Okay, stepping back. <laughs> All right, let's keep going here. So sun's coming this way. Obviously, I was just looking at how that sun must have been, I must have been taking it in the afternoon. So if the sun's coming this way, yep, okay. I have to get the shadows in my brain. Sun coming this way. And I'm mixing a uh, uh, Prussian blue with uh, Van Dyke brown. Oh, it's beautiful today. Went out for a glorious walk. I, I love this walk that I walk home in, and it's out through the parks, and you see all the flowers blooming and stuff like that. I just, I just love it. <laughs> Not 
quite there. God. I'm talking to myself because I'm kind of like one of these. Uh, I call it, you know, as you heard me call it, uh, surrealistic, uh, not surrealistic, uh, impressionistic realism. <laughs> and there's a time sometimes you need to just stop and just let it go. <coughs> and I'm starting to think that, that I'm at, at that point with this. Just kind of just do it, you know. Because I have a tendency, my brain wants to do photographic uh, realism. Holy cow. Ugh, I've encountered a coyote a couple times in my neighborhood, and it's like, well, I'm going to give you your distance. <laughs> Yeah. Coyotes are kind of an interesting creature. I always love that uh, one thing. You know, we, we most of us grew up on, uh, uh, you know, the Roadrunner and uh, uh, the coyote and the Roadrunner. And uh, a coyote is actually a lot faster than a, a, a Roadrunner. <laughs> it's that we've been lied to all of our entire lives. <laughs> Coyote gets up to 40 some miles an hour where Roadrunner's top speed is around 20. Let me step back. I'm just going to take take this in a little bit because, you know, I call it you know the sur surreal uh, not surrealistic but uh, uh, impressionistic realism and 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 sometimes I could destroy it by getting too complicated, you know, too 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 detailed. And I'm thinking this might actually be done, kind of loose, you know, and just call it what it is. <laughs> of course, of course. Made in Walla Walla, Washington. <laughs> Acme Products, Walla Walla, Washington. I've been to Walla Walla. <laughs> I worked for the state of Washington one time. We always called it Walla Two. Yeah, I've I've heard an owl in my uh, at, at my house, and I've never been able to find the darn thing. I have a uh, neighborhood falcon. I call it I call her Maud. You know, comes by and scares the hell out of you. You know, it's just like, <laughs> all right, Maud. Yeah, you're intimidating. You you proved your point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I actually just I'm just looking at this. I don't want to get. You know, sometimes, like I said, that was the whole thing when I first started the whole Portland series. It's just leave it alone. Let it go, you know. And I think that's what I'm going to do with this one. Kind of cover up a couple things. It's not photographic uh, perfect, but it's kind of just fun, you know. <coughs> <coughs> and no, not COVID. Don't worry about it. Anytime you cough anywhere, everybody stares at you. I've had this cough for probably 30 years. <laughs> All right. You know what? I'm going to call that. I'm going to call that one done. Just looking at it. I think I think it needs to be 
That's what it needs to be. <laughs> All right, let me sign this thing. Let me get a right brush here. Ah, oh, there we go. Crap. Yep, one more paint. Gotta have the famous thumbprint. Whoa! All right, yeah, I kind of wanted to keep it loose, you know, I, I've been kind of going into the direction where I'm, I, I want to follow the photograph exactly, and I'd say, no, no, that's not been what we're, you know, this is like, like I call it, uh, uh, God, I can't even call it impressionistic realism, you know, <laughs> all right, thank you so much for joining me, another hour, holy crap, all this, you know. I won't be back on tomorrow for Empire Thursday. Um, I have, uh, actually, I'm meeting a friend from high school I haven't seen for 41 years. Holy crap. 41 years. Most of my friends were not even alive at that time. So 41 years. So it's going to be fun to uh, just meet up with her. She was in my art club in high school. So take care. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Thank you to those healthcare workers that are keeping everything going. All those people are keeping the economy going. Thank you so much. Hope for peace. It's scary times out there. I don't know what the heck is all this saber uh, uh, rambling that's going on. It's just it's scary. Seriously, take care. Thank you for joining me. I, I, I don't know about this weekend. This weekend's kind of crazy. Saturday and Sunday are probably crazy. So I may not be back on until Monday. So take care. Seriously, thank you again. Bye-bye. Whoa! <laughs> Robust! <laughs>